Hi, I'm uh, Ryan Zeglo, Brick Bat Dad. Um, I like to build Batman. That's all I build, really. I'm two, three years in now to a 10-year journey to, to build the biggest Batcave in the world. I wanted to start off with something uh, strong, and so I built what I think is probably the biggest Batwing that I've seen. I haven't seen anything as big as it, so hopefully it's the biggest in the world, but otherwise shame me <laughs> on social media if you know of a bigger one or a, or a better one. Um, teach me a lesson, but this is the best I could do for now. Um, I wanted to, I, I uh, originally, uh, this was Boone's idea. I stole the idea because I got tired of waiting for him and he's being famous and making all this. Too busy being famous yeah. to do Batman builds. Yeah, I, I'm not famous at all, so it's like I got plenty of time, but he wanted to do a, a, a U, UCS uh, Batwing. He didn't do it, so I, I got tired of waiting to see it, built it, my built one that I thought was uh, similar scale as UCS, um, stole a lot of Millennium Falcon kind of designs. When I showed it to Boone, he loved it, but he really got excited when, when I flipped it up in the bat symbol uh, position. And so I started thinking, man, I gotta, I gotta be able to show that because I had to like lift it up and turn it for Boone. And I was like, I need to motorize that. And so then spent a, another big journey trying to figure out how to do that. And, and then I did the Venetian blinds um, at the end to try to give it that yellow background. And um, yeah, my, my wife was really confused why Venetian blinds, but Batman has everything, right? Why not Venetian blinds? Right? It, it just adds another layer to this already incredible build here. So if you want to maybe take us through the design of the, the ship itself, and then we'll talk a little bit about kind of the technical aspects of, of how you get it moving. Sure. So, like, what are you, what are you, what are you interested in on the design? So like, the, the different elements. You've got a lot of nice, like, greebling here, and kind of the structure yeah, yeah, of it all. Sure. The greebling, like, so a lot of these elements here are totally stolen from uh, the Millennium Falcon, right? Like, so these are, I mean, not, not literal theft, but totally the design element inspired by. Yeah, inspired by. Oh, sorry. Thank you. So these, so these are kind of like a little bigger than the holes, but on the front of the Millennium Falcon, you've got several of these holes, and I really like that look on the Millennium Falcon. And I wanted, I wanted a direct comparison between this and Millennium Falcon. This uh, back here also borrowed, uh, what was it? Inspired from <laughs> yes. Millennium Falcon. Um, but then when I did these tubes, this, this is also kind of Millennium Falcon borrowed thing, but I stacked them on top to make it thicker. Um, and then uh, I kind of wanted to, uh, when I got the lighting in there and this lit up, I wanted to let that show through. So I kind of tried to make it look like this is just floating out in space, the tail. Um, and you know, there's no tail on the Millennium Falcon, so I was uh, trying to make that make sense, but still show the aesthetic off. Um, then I put a bunch of lights and silver stuff to make it uh, make the hyperdrive work, and uh, hopefully beat the Millennium Falcon in a Kessel Run, <laughs> right? Like uh, that's the goal. That's the goal, right? Batman needs to be bigger and better, so you've got to. It's got to be. I think it is bigger than any of the Millennium Falcons, uh, and I think it could beat them in a Kessel Run. There's more like silver and all the star wars fans are going to start leaving the comments now yeah do it <laughs> go ahead troll me i'm easy to troll uh, you star wars fans so, so now you've got the cockpit here as well what oh, all yeah. minifigs do you now have in these, there now these i don't think we can say inspired this is literal rip rip off <laughs> like this uh these guns i just i literally took off the first ucs million falcon from the top and the bottom and just smacked them there changed a, a wedge but it's basically total rip off this is all, I mean, most of it's original, even though, like, I'm talking about Millennium Falcon a lot, but I, that was a big inspiration is Millennium Falcon. How can Batman, like, one-up Han Solo? Because he's so cocky. Um, so does the, the whole thing travel as one piece, then, when you bring it to a show? Um, it does. I, I wanted to make it uh, modular. The, uh, the cave and the blinds and stuff are very modular. But the, the, the problem with the Batwing is because it extends so far, and there's only support in the middle, um, I had to make really thick in, uh, uh, support rails, essentially right along here. Um, and originally I had uh, landing, what are they called, like uh, legs for landing gear. And, and it, what it did is had me, this rail had to pop up higher. And it, I couldn't figure out, I mean, I, I have an idea, but I'd have, it's basically a rebuild to get, to get this piece to pop off and that piece to pop off. So yeah, I carry this in. I swoosh it in, like basically. <laughs> the fun starts right from the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> I would swoosh it. We could, but um, uh, people, some people like that to see that because I can. I, it's very solid. I can swoosh it around and wait, you know, 
um, but it makes everyone nervous. Um, not me really, but what I usually do is I rip it off there and I forget to unplug the lights and then things go wrong. Yeah, things, yeah it can be bad. Yeah. So, so we've been watching it move here, which is just a whole nother incredible element, that technical aspect. So if you can maybe explain a little bit of how you got it to, to move once, once you had the yeah. build done. Oh, look at that spider. You want to get that or this we might be we a, a, a first There's actual <laughs> spider yeah, on the build. Exactly. What is, well, who is this? This Spider-Man send you. The, so, yeah, I'm really proud of that, but it's actually really super simple. I thought at the beginning I was going to have to spin it and lift it, and that is essentially what happens, but all it is is a wedge on a turntable, and the geometry of that works out. So there's like, it's like a triangle wedge on a, on a swivel, and then there's another triangle attached to the bat wing, and just the way that lays down when it spins, is it goes from essentially almost flat to about a 40, 45 degree angle. So it's, it's, it's really just a turntable, but with, and the wedge is the, the magic, but it's, it's pretty simple geometry. The weight uh, made it more complicated. I had to, uh, yeah, I think you're looking at it now. There's two front wheels that keep the leaning tower from Pisa from just <laughs> cut crashing. Um, it's pushing on a bunch of the big gear elements to keep that thing. Uh, right now it's pretty stable because it's spaceship mode. It's, but when it, when it leans up, all the pressure goes to the front of that. Uh, the those round gears and it and it needs those wheels pushing hard to keep it from from a crash so um, yeah has it been running smoothly then for the show yeah it has uh, I was super nervous but two days before the show I let it run overnight and I was like I, I said my goodbyes gave it a kiss because I was sure it was, was going to come down it was just gonna be laying on the ground but it made it and then then I felt more confident so yeah it's been like four days now running um, I mean, I turn it off at night, but uh, four days of eight-hour running, so it, it, uh, I got, I'm getting lucky. Getting so, lucky. So the movement's fantastic, but you didn't stop there. You built this whole kind of uh, screen or a frame almost around it here. So how did that come together then? Yeah, well, you know, I wanted, I wanted to really show off that symbol, you know, like because that, that was the one that I got the strong reaction from Boone, and I, and I was like, I, I just want to show people, I want to try to surprise people with showing off the bat symbol, like. You're like, oh, this is a spaceship, and then, oh, wow, it's a bat symbol. And so I thought, I need the, I need the oval, right? It's just the classic old bat oval on his chest. And so I, need, I knew I needed the yellow. I knew I needed the gray. The gray's got to be a cave, right? Like, it's, not, it's not that complicated to figure out, I, I guess, now that we talk it through. Um, but, I, yeah, I needed it round. And so we, you know, yeah, spent a bunch of time building the cave, even though that's not really – the cool part. It's like but. a lot of technic support back there to hold yeah, it up. Time. It's like the kind of the classic, it's, uh, there's quite a bit of mods to make it modular, but it's essentially like the brain, the classic uh, train uh, bridge design. You know? And then I just kind of leaned it up like a frame, like you would with a picture frame with these kind of chintzy uh, uh, kickstands in the back on either side. Um, so yeah, yeah. So it, it doesn't really look that good except for the front angle. You know, on the side it looks weird like a frame and then the blinds and but from the front it all comes front, together yeah, nicely that, that's what it was for that was the whole vision is just to nail it from the front and then the rest is a compromise and then the final element is those blinds that you mentioned earlier so what's keeping those things flipping around and kind of oh, on yeah. a schedule here well, so maybe we can get a shot down in there it's got this super weird o over engineered it's a bunch of medium power function motors but i've got the ev3 uh running the the color sensor um, and the, or one EV3 motor in a color sensor to calibrate itself that runs this bank of 10 medium motors. Um, and these medium motors will, are, are doing a 180, but they're hard stopped with Technic beams. Um, so they basically like run, and, and that's why there's a cl white clutch gear in there, is because they pound, they spin around, pound on that uh, clutch gear for a while, and then this thing shuts them off. And that each one's independent because sometimes when these blinds, just like real blinds, when they flip around, they'll fight each other. And so it needs some time for them to, they needed to be independent to, to work reliably. And sometimes they fight. And so they, that's why the motors kind of run a, about a second after they're mostly closed, just in case there's a slow one or whatever. So I don't know. Yeah, it's, the blinds are pretty silly because all I've got is a caution sign and, and then some batarangs on the, on the ship side. And then they flip, and it erased to be all yellow. It's, it's a lot. I thought I would do more, but everything I tried looked kind of, um, it clashed with the detail on the Falcon. And uh, 
uh, one of my friends said I should I should have made it gray and that you know on and that and that's a good idea make the one side gray and the other side yellow and then really make it pop so that maybe that's something to to add on later but I just kind of ran out of time and just left it with with the caution sign erasing is the only real effect from all that work and I, money I do like the yellow though because it really makes the black ship really yeah, pop you out you when don't you're need looking motors to make yellow <laughs> right like I, why did I do all that it doesn't it really doesn't but it's Batman that's why we did it because it's because Batman so what, so what draws you to Batman builds in general? I know for a number of years you've done this. Is it just just your fandom, or is there something more with like the pieces and things like that that you really find is, is fun building well, with the, the style? Spider, the spiders on the on the uh, Jesus. This thing is won't stop till <laughs> Spider Man is really invading. Yeah, he can't. Uh, it won't stop till he takes it down. It's, I hope it doesn't mess up the weight of it. Um, Batman. Well, he's he's the best superhero, right? Like all these. I 100% agree. All these punks have superpowers. And he's just he's just a guy. I mean, he's a very rich guy and super duper smart. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's a he's a ro inspiration role model to all of us. Uh, I'm just you know, it's a religious thing for me, Batman, and you know, uh, and so is Lego. And so it's like, it's irresistible for me that combination. Um, but I also yeah, I just uh, I think it's a slightly underserved in terms of mocks. Like I I don't I feel like there should be a Batman section at conventions. And so, like, I, I, yeah, I want my part and my role in it is to try to just build, like I said, the biggest Batcave that, that I've ever seen. And uh, this is, I think, probably ends up being the center of that. And I need to put a Wayne Manor on top of that, kind of like last year, but a bigger scale. And then just start, yeah, just start kind of incrementally building huge pieces of, of a huge Batcave until I can take up the whole section. Yeah. And then maybe I've in a small way done Batman justice. No, that's incredible. I think that sounds like a very ambitious plan, so we'll keep following you over the years. Look forward to that. But thank you so much for bringing this thank build you. out and for taking us through it all. It's, it's so fantastic. Definitely one of my favorites at the show, so thank wow, you. that means a lot to me. Thank you.